show. I'm Megan Kelly. Imagine knowing beyond any shadow of a doubt that you are a woman, but you were assigned male at birth, or the other way around. It is estimated that there are about 1.4 million adults who identify as transgender in the United States. In recent years, transgender celebrities like Caitlyn Jenner, actress Laverne Cox, and reality TV star Jazz Jennings have been front and center in the media. And now, during Pride Month, cable network TLC has been airing a docuseries called Lost in Transition, which is a very personal look inside couples' lives after a partner comes out as transgender. As you can imagine, it is not easy, which you will see in the story of Jennifer and Larry, who now goes by the name Lauren. Watch. My husband's name is Larry. We have been together for 24 years. We have our own business right now. For 22 years, our relationship was really a relationship that other people envied. But then things started to break down in our marriage. I was struggling so desperately just to hold it together long enough to see if I could get through the next day. I was really spiraling out of control, and it was happening fast, and it was very scary. He started to cycle faster, and the depression would come harder and stronger. He actually became suicidal. One night, I asked him, like, really, what's going on? And he told me that he was a girl. It was pretty devastating. <sighs> All of a sudden, everything that you know, the way that you saw your life and your relationship and your family, like all of a sudden everything's different. I'm currently transitioning to a woman. I see an end and that end is me as an old lady with my wife. It's not without a huge struggle, but we have something that is pretty fantastic. This life that we've built together, these children that we have, not everyone has that. I think that if we can survive the transition, we will again be a family that people look to as an ideal family. It just won't look like the one that we had before. It's gonna be fine. Waiting for my hair to grow out long enough is frustrating. All right, let's go get your shampoo, okay? okay? I'm learning how to do makeup. That stuff is challenging, but I'm learning and I'm embracing it. Every time there's a step towards Lauren, while I'm happy for Lauren, it's another part of the grieving process for me. I'm mourning my husband and he's right next to me. That is profound. Lauren and Jennifer are with us now. Thank you both so much for being here. Sure. That was emotional to watch. <laughs> Lauren, can I start with you? Sure. When, when do you remember the first time knowing that, that, that your gender had been misassigned? I'd like to say it was when I was younger, but I don't have a definitive time that, that I knew. There was sort of never a time I didn't feel that way that I can recall. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's something that I felt all my life. And I know, as we documented in the piece, there, there, were, there was depression. You started drinking too much. Yes. Directly related, I assume. Yes. Did you know that at the time? I was struggling with it um, a lot as I started drinking and drinking heavily and pulling myself away from the family. Um, I was miserable. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with day-to-day -day life anymore. Mm -hmm. So what was the aha moment for you when you said, I, I just can't go on like this? Well, it got to the point where I, my, my wife, Jennifer, <laughs> when she basically came to me and said, you know, what's going on? You know, what's wrong with you? Why is, is this, you know, what's going on with our family? Um, and she started out asking me a series of questions. She asked, are you gay? Is there somebody else? You know, trying to pinpoint what was wrong. And at the very end, she sort of threw out, are you a girl? And when she said that, I immediately said yes, and also immediately regretted saying yes, um, because I felt like I couldn't take that back. You know, I felt like I destroyed everything in, the, in that one moment. Mm -hmm. 
What about you, Jennifer? Did you, you know, was there any clue? Like, how did you know to ask that question? I didn't know to ask that question. Um, when Lauren and I first started dating um, in 1993, a lot of our friends said, you know, it's never going to last because we think that he's gay, Larry is gay. And I said, no, he's just very sensitive and very loving. And so my husband became the husband that everybody wanted because he was room dad and he, like, always, you know, he was just, everyone wanted him. And, um, and so I guess that would have been the only indication that, you know, that he was female. But I just was so fed up and I didn't know what was going on. And so I just... I thought, let me ask the most far-fetched question I can, you know, imagine. And so you never saw any signs? It wasn't no. like... No, nothing. Telegraphed to you? No, because she pushed it down so hard. We had... She had overcompensated and gone to the extreme of being male, of being the provider. Um, we owned our own business. And, you know, it... In order for her to deal with it, she became more male than a lot of males are just so she wouldn't have to deal with it. So you're sitting there... Stunned. This is, a, this is a big reveal. And were you s certain in that moment that you wanted to transition, like that this was going to be the beginning of your actual transition? No, that wasn't the beginning of my transition. I struggled with it for a good year after that, trying to make it go away, trying to fix myself. Mm -hmm. And it took me a, a solid year of therapy um, and talking with uh, other experts to realize that I wasn't broken. I just needed to embrace myself and be myself. You have four kids? Four yes. kids. So how hard was it telling them? It was, it was hard to tell them. Um, we spent time, again, with therapists, trying to make sure that we told them in, in age and, appro and developmentally appropriate ways. Um, we told our oldest first. Our oldest at the time was probably 13. 13. Um, and we have twins who at the time were four years younger. They were nine and our youngest who barely remembers it, but it, it was Hard to tell them but once we told them I feel like there was a, a, a sense of relief on their part They felt like a weight had been lifted off their shoulders because they know when something's off yes. in a family they dynamic knew. They knew something was wrong they, and they were afraid it was other things like trouble in our marriage trouble with us that we might get divorced or something might happen to us or so interesting the, the way you put it in that piece, that every time she takes a step toward Lauren, you, you celebrate for Lauren, but there's a grieving process, too. So how, how, how are you? How are you handling it? So when Lauren first told me, I was devastated. And not devastated for me, but devastated for her. That all this time that she had been giving and giving and giving, and we didn't realize that this was going on. Um, and um, so, sorry, if you watch the show, I cry all the time, but no. um, it's hard because this is the person that I love and the person that I built my life with. And we've been together for almost 25 years. And how was I going to throw that away? Um, and it doesn't change how good she is to me. It doesn't change how good she is to the kids. It's just that she's female. And um, so, you know, each day, like, we're working really hard as a couple to stay together and to take care of our kids and show them as much love as we can and to teach them about diversity and inclusion. And, um, you know, when, when we decided to do the show, it was because we thought maybe we could help someone because we're just this normal family and now we're just different. Mm -hmm. And um, so we... Our kids say it all the time, and we say it all the time, is, you know, we just want to open one heart and open one mind and maybe save one life. And that's it. Wow. You know? Did you, have you had any question about whether you wanted to stay in the relationship? Was there any question? There are always questions, <laughs> because life is uncertain. Mm -hmm. And um, But when I look at my relationship with Lauren, and I have other friends who are in abusive relationships, or they have... Um, husbands who are alcoholics or they are not having any type of relationship with their husband and I look at my relationship and realize how much I have then there's no question mm -hmm. things changed yes things have I mean, changed you know it's obviously a different dynamic it's a very different dynamic in some ways and but how much of a is, is your private life a factor in your happiness and the wellness of your relationship um, I mean 
we still are affectionate and we spend a lot of time cuddling and with our kids and we haven't figured all of that stuff out yet, but it's kind of on hold, I guess, until we get part because, you know, we're still at the very beginning of this transition. There are so many other things that need to happen. Um, and so we're just taking it day by day. You Good. Know? I love seeing the two of you holding hands, <laughs> coming out and talking about the story. Well, love tends to persevere. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.